Good morning, artists. I'm excited today to show you how to make a birdhouse. Now we're making a birdhouse because a birdhouse is one of many places a bird can live. Um, they can live, of course, in trees and things like that, but birdhouses are a way that humans, like us, like to help birds have a better habitat, an easier habitat that they can quickly move into. Now we're going to draw one today. So I've got the materials you're going to need. You're going to need paper, a pencil, and a ruler or something with a straight edge. This is an important distinction because I know a lot of you might not have a ruler handy. If you don't have a ruler, anything with a straight edge works. I'm going to use a picture book. This happens to be a picture book that I wrote. See that? Not wrote, illustrated. I illustrated. <laughs> okay, so we've got our paper and just so you know, I'll be drawing it upside down so it might look kind of different on your end. And um, a birdhouse is, of course, a geometric object, which means that it's made out of shapes. We're going to be doing something called one point perspective. One point perspective is a technique that helps things look 3D. So I'm going to start by marking the dots of the corner of my shape. I want my birdhouse to have a dot. Oh, I forgot. So, so that you can see it better, I'm going to use pen. I want it to have a dot here and a dot here. And these dots should be very, very small. And then we're going to go directly up and directly up. Okay, and then one dot. So these four corners are going to be the four corners of the front of our birdhouse and then one above it for the top of the roof. Now, let's use our book and I want you to use your ruler and your pencil or your book and connect those dots just like you're doing a connect the dot game. Okay. Now turn it to get the next two dots. Turn it again to get the next two dots. Turn it again to get the next two. Turn it one last time to get the last one. Okay, so now your birdhouse is already starting to look like a house. That's what we want, right? But birdhouses are 3D, as we were saying. Additionally, their roofs normally hang off the top. So we're going to take the edge of this roof and extend the lines just a little bit. Do you see how I extended it but not too much? And then I'm going to make a straight corner, very small, and a little dot above the top of the roof floating in the sky there. Next you're going to use your ruler or your book to connect those new edges. Okay. Oh, it's starting to look more like a birdhouse already. Okay. And let's add in some important features of a birdhouse. First of all, we need the hole for the bird to come in. That's going to be a circle in the middle of your birdhouse. Draw that circle in, and then we want a smaller circle underneath for the perch. If you want, you can take that circle and stretch the line out. So I drew two lines coming from the edge of the birdhouse, and I pointed it down, made them parallel to each other. Now we have a perch for our bird to stand on. Now our birdhouse looks pretty cool, but it looks very flat, so we're going to make it more 3D. And to do that, this is the cool thing. We're going to take our book or our ruler, and we're going to line up one corner of the book or the ruler with that bottom dot and set it at a diagonal angle. And then I want you to draw, and however long you draw this line is however long your birdhouse is going to be. So for me, I think it looks good if I go about this far. 
that's where my pencil is, compare that to the birdhouse. That's a pretty big birdhouse, but it's not too unrealistically big. And I'm going to keep my book at the same angle. Oh, actually, one thing I forgot to do, sorry. And now, no, that's right. And then you're going to, uh, one trick I like to do is use something else as a straight line to show me how tall that's going to be. And so I can mark my edge. This is a great place if you're using pencil. You can just turn the book and draw it with a pencil. So that's what I'm going to do. I've got my book turned up and down because we're doing one point perspective. And we're going to draw it up. And I think that's high enough. If it's too high, those of you who are using pencils will be able to erase it. Now we take the edge of our birdhouse. We want to put our book or our ruler on that first diagonal line and slowly slide it up. I want you to go slowly so that the angle doesn't change. And now I stopped when I reached the corner of the roof. I'm going to draw my line until it reaches that black line that I made. Do you see how they're overlapping? That is what I would erase if I had a pencil. I don't though, so I'm just going to leave it as is. And now I'm going to take that diagonal angle and I'm going to keep sliding my book until I get to the top of the roof. Notice mine is going to go off the page. I'm going to draw until it hits the edge of the page. Okay. Now maybe yours could go farther, but mine sure couldn't. And now I'm going to connect those last the corner of my page with that last dot to make a roof for my birdhouse. Now this is called one point perspective. Let me lift my camera up a bit. One point perspective is the first step to learning how to draw perspective. As an artist, I can look at this birdhouse and I can see some problems with it. I can tell that the perspective isn't quite right, actually, but that's okay. Because in one point perspective, you don't need it to be perfect. This is a tool that you're going to use so that one day I can teach you some more complicated versions of perspective that make things look just a little bit more realistic. But this already looks really realistic, doesn't it? I like it. So the next thing that we're going to do is up to you. You get to add details to your birdhouse in any way you want. You can, I'm going to show you some examples as I draw them on mine. You can add shingles to the birdhouse. If you want to do that, you would want to make big scales on the roof. And as you do it on one side, it's going to overlap. So the bottom of one scale, I mean the top of the U of a scale is going to touch the bottom of the U on the scale above it. And this pattern is what we see in bird feathers, it's what we see in fish or dragon or lizard scales, and it's what we see in the shingles of a roof. That's optional. You can keep going. I will be stopping after this row. Another thing that you can do is give your birdhouse a tree. There's two ways to hang birdhouses. Sometimes birdhouses are, are um, hammered into a branch, but usually they have, or they have a pole coming out the bottom. So you could draw on a pole, you could draw on a branch. I'm going to draw on a hook. So right above it, I'm going to have two little parallel lines with a hook. And then that hook is going to be able to sit on top of a, bird, a tree branch. And the tree branch, notice how I'm not using my ruler anymore. And that is because tree branches made in nature are wibbly wobbly. 
So I'm going to go ahead and add more branches to the background so that I can do a tree. Um, and then I could put leaves on the edge of that tree, which I can then color. You can add a bird to your birdhouse. Maybe you want to add a step. I want to add a little step. So I'm going to use my ruler because this is part of the treehouse itself. I'm going to extend this line a bit. I'm going to come all the way over here at the same angle. Woo! Now my birds have a little place where they can stand before they hop up. I'll even have it overlap a bit. Got to use my ruler since I want to do that straight line. Again, this isn't a real ruler. It's a book, but it sure does work, right? There, now they've got a little step. You could add a bird flying um, or sitting in a branch or poking its head out of the window. Um, you can add any details you want to your birdhouse. What I'd like to see is how you color it and how you draw it. Okay, this is again the first step to learning perspective and using it. One point perspective. I will be teaching you other perspectives in the future. Okay, bye guys.